What's up everybody, Coach Levin here. I wanted to review the knees over toes guy. I've been on the program, it's been about two weeks now. I've been uh, starting my journey back to increasing my vertical, trying to, you know, dunk again consistently. I came across the knees over toes guy program and a lot of people don't know, I've actually struggled with tendonitis since I was in high school. This program, he has a ton of experience with the uh, knees because he's dealt with knee pain. He's had, uh, you know, close to $10,000 worth of surgery done in uh, both knees. He couldn't get down in certain positions. His he even shows that his mom who had uh, arthritis couldn't move and now she's on full blown ATG squats and and split squat yoga and moving like never before and he's showing you all these different movement patterns that's never been done before right now i'm just giving you my official two-week observation or review on what i think so far the knees the knees are one of the most common injuries but you know people don't know how to treat them people have arthritis now a lot of kids developing ashka slaughter basically if you don't have tendonitis or you do you know how it feels your knees are very stiff it takes a while for them to get warmed up and when you do get your muscles warm warmed up for your knees if you take a break for you know any any period longer than five ten minutes your knees actually feel like they're stiff and they lock up not only that but if you do continue to play or you know run or work out for an hour or two you get that aching pain shooting in your patella tendon right underneath the kneecap right there it's like an unbearable pain sometimes and you know you can ice and try to treat it as much as you want but the only real thing to do is rehab it. Me, myself, I spent years, you know, taking ice baths, massaging it out, see different specialists and therapists. Tendonitis and knee problem is so hard to fix right now. They really haven't found a true cure for it. When I was looking at this program, I needed to relate to someone that has had knee pain, has had knee problems, because if you have it, and you fixed it, obviously you know you know what to do. I'm taking a chance on it. My review so far, the, um, it's been great. The first day that I did it, I actually felt the tension and the pressure being lifted from my knees and, and I knew that my muscles were kind of absorbing, absorbing the shock from it, which is important. The stronger your muscles are, the more force that they can, you know, that they can absorb whenever you're doing something impactful, something that's jumping or running and uh, those are typically the things that I'm doing all the time, especially, you know, training basketball players and then playing basketball myself. Not only that, but, you know, weightlifting and getting back into shape and stuff, that has an impact on your knees as well. Week one went great. Uh, week two, still the same results. I've actually dunked the ball a couple times when in week one, I was kind of testing it out. The week one and the week prior, I could I could jump up there, but I wasn't, I wasn't, uh, flushing all the way through like I wanted to. And now I'm actually becoming a little explosive. And here's a side note about this. This is actually, this program is great because it's actually a mobility program for all three of your joints. You know, your ankle, your knees, and your hips. And when we talk about the triple extension of the body, you were talking about those three, those three joints that ankles, knees, and hips. So that's what you mainly used when you're when you're playing a sport. I actually had an ankle injury, um, a contact ankle injury, which caused a lot of eversion on my ankle. I was, you know, swollen for a couple of weeks. It was starting to bother me. But now not only are my knees feeling better, but my ankles starting to feel better too. So far, so good on the program. Now I do my weightlifting session, you know, for 45 minutes to an hour. That's just my personal session. And then I actually will do the knees over toes workout after, or I will wait until later on in the day, just depending on how fatigued my legs are, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of fatiguing movements. Like they're not hard, but they're fatiguing. And I don't want to come straight from a, a lifting session straight into that. If my body's already worn down, like I want to come into this fresh. So I'm doing the movements right so far. So good. I honestly do recommend it, uh, at least trying it out and seeing how it works for you. I'll just keep updating right now. We're in the first 12 week session of it. It's called zero. There's literally no weights or no equipment that you need. Um, I'm in a hotel right now in New York. I'm going to do my workout in here today. I could do it at home. I could do it at the gym if I need to. But for the first 12 weeks, you can do it at the comfort of your home. They do say that you can, you know, progress and skip. I truly recommend sticking to the 12 weeks. Like even if it's easy, just kind of work through it and progress. Just get the full 12 weeks in. I feel like it'll, it'll have tremendous effect on you. Now, if your knees are severely bad, it will take some time for this. You know, this is not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in the first 12 weeks. It's going to, it's going to take time. The same time that it took for your knees to start hurting, 
it's gonna take time to reverse that effect and you know develop those muscles i've done it and my knees instantly feel better like I could walk around, I could sit in positions that normally were uncomfortable after a while or that, you know, made my made my patella scream later on during the day and made it unbearable to walk around and my knee would swell up. This this program is a lifesaver so far. After the two week review, I give it full thumbs up, um, 10 out of 10 right now. So just stay tuned and we'll keep going over this. See you guys, as always, apply pressure.